This is how to uh, set up your software on your computer, Terminator X. Okay, click on Google here. And you can just put in Holly. We'll go to, uh, you can go to holly.com, right here is Holly. Just go to Holly. See where it says support. See where it says EFI software and support. Top section here says Terminator X and X Max ECUs, or if you have the sniper. Holly, well, we're, we're just going to talk about the Terminator X. That's what I have here. I mean, I started out with the Terminator X V1 software. You can download it here. But I upgraded to, uh, uh, for my needs, to the uh, version 2. Let's click on that. Down here in the left, you'll see it says, oh, uh, let's see, it's downloading there. Open when done. Okay, this is what opened up for me. It says Hemi uh, VVT software. Is that a W? Anyway, let's, let's click on that. Let's click on where it says Setup. Extract All. Show Extracted Files when completed. Be okay. Just leave it as is. Now I've already got it installed on my computer, so I'm just redoing this for you. Hopefully I can help somebody. Okay, now after you get your software uh, installed, there's a place where you can put a little check mark and says put an icon on your desktop. I like it right there on my desktop. But anyway, let's open this up. My next step is to show you how to get this help section working. It's in the manual. It, it tells you that uh, you need to have uh, a Do uh, Acrobat, Adobe, or Adobe uh, installed on your computer. This is what we're after here. If you don't have Adobe Reader, Acrobat, Adobe Reader installed, it's free. Uh, you will not be able to open up this help section here. You'll get an error message. And you really want this because look how much information is here for you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, download Adobe Reader. I know many people know how to do that, but after that you have to uh, go in and make some changes. Again, open up Google or whatever search engine you use. Google's the best. So you go here and you go Acrobat Reader DC. DC stands for Document Cloud. It's free. They have a pro version. But right there, Document Cloud, it's uh, right there. And let's see. Here it is. Adobe Reader, Acrobat Reader DC installs for all version. Isn't that looking good? Okay, now it's just the uh, right here. It is. It's all you got to do. Download. Let's let's click on it. I've already got it installed, but okay. Down here where it says, type here to search. Type in default apps. There's other ways to get to it, but there you go. Now, okay, your help menu will not work if you do not do this step right here. This, I know other you can download Adobe Reader and all that, but took me a minute to figure this one out. 
So, anyway, I'm going to show you something here. Go down to where it says choose default apps by file type. Okay. Now, here we are. Probably zoom in a little bit on this. Now, just start scrolling down. You're gonna, you, you need uh, PDFs, what you're looking for. A lot of stuff in here. But this is very easy to do. And maybe some people's owned a Terminator X system, which are awesome, by the way, for a while, never got their help section working. Well, I hope this helps you. Let's see, PDF. Having a couple uh, beers tonight, so bear with me here. PDF, there, there it is. But anyway, see where I've got this Acrobat, uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Click on that. Originally, I had it set to Microsoft Edge. You need to go in here. You know how I said just go to default apps. Come down to this and just click on it and make sure that's uh, the way you have it set up. Or what, wait, PDF is the one. I don't even care about this one down. PDX, I don't even know what that is. But your PDF. Okay, and then you can go back in here. Get rid of that icon. You don't need that. And you click on your software here. Go up it to help. And let's see, I'll cancel that. Help. Contents. And boom. 